Family Mosaic is a housing association which provides homes to 45,000 people in communities across London and Essex. An important part of their work is to provide homes for people with extra support needs. And I'm joined today by Trudy Tayek, who's Head of Care Services for Family Mosaic. Trudy, can you explain what care services actually are? Care services are a, a provision uh, for people who have a learning disability in the main. And Family Mosaic provides uh, support to people, to about 300 people with learning disabilities. Um, the care services usually vary from registered care right through to community support um, and the type of care that they receive can be 24-hour uh, support to cater for their every need uh, right through to maybe just one hour a week where they need support to with budgeting and that sort of thing. And how do people usually receive this care? I mean, do they choose Family Mosaic? Um, in the main, they don't choose Family Mosaic. It's very often that the care manager refers, us, refers them to, to us. Um, however, there are new developments in place called direct payments where people can actually choose to, to come to Family Mosaic when almost taking out the middleman. Now, as you know, institutionalised care has got a really bad press and we hear about abuse, we hear about neglect. Care in the community was supposed to be better, but some people would say it's just moved the problem on. Well, I think the main thing about it is that when they were in institutional care, the people who had a learning disability and, and they were set up in big hospitals, for people with mental subnormality, as we used to call it, probably weren't seen by the general public. So the fact that they didn't know exactly what was happening to the people in the institutions, and now they, are, they do know what's happening. They are in the community. They're living in the community as they should do with people uh, like you and I. Now, there are obviously lots of different kinds of people that you support and different kinds of care that you provide, and we're going to see a couple of examples in just a moment. But where would these people have lived prior to the time that someone like Family Mosaic would step in? A lot of people that we currently support lived in the institutions um, and as part of in the 1970s the government direction was that these hospitals needed to close. It wasn't considered the right place to keep people incarcerated so they moved into either registered care in the main in the early 70s through to the 80s and then into community support. However, there, are, there were lots of people who we now support who have come through the normal family home, lived with families, maybe relatives have got elderly, um, their behaviours are such that they can't cope, um, or they've just reached the stage where, like any, like any adult, they've, it's time to move on and for them to have a home of their own. OK, well, let's take a look at Jan's story. Family Mosaic. If I didn't have contact with Family Mosaic, I wouldn't know what to do. I couldn't do without them. When I was born, I fell down a flight of stairs and I had an ECG, whatever you call it, these wires on my head and they turned out that I had mild learning disabilities so they put me into care. Because my mum couldn't cope, she was on her own with eight other kids. Room to room was bad, very bad. The food like was there was horrible. One evening, well, one evening for dinner there was stew for uh, first course and rice pudding for afters. And there was a great big hairy maggot in the stew and a great big spider in the rice pudding. Only in mine, nobody else's. I don't know why, but I was not allowed to move from there till I ate it. I didn't eat it, so I got punished. I was made to scrub the floors with a toothbrush on my hands and knees. I went to Rampton at the age of 13, come out when I was about 25, 26. I didn't like it there at all. South Ockingdon is, I guess I have to explain, the staff were nice. I could get on with all the staff and the residents. They shut South Rockington. They, they kept me back and all the other residents went. They kept me back and said, you're going out in a limousine with a bottle of champagne and a bouquet of flowers. I wasn't really actually expecting it, but I thoroughly enjoyed it. I really didn't want it to close. I even wrote to Prime Minister, never got a reply back to keep it open. <laughs> 